Hello all. Welcome to part 3 of the Format String Vulnerability Primer for Hackers video series. Now in the last video, we saw how it is possible to go ahead and print various things from the stack using a user supplied format string. So now coming back to the format string part, the next question arises is what can we do with format string bugs where there are a couple of things we can do the first is crash the program uh, secondly view the stack we've uh, you know done a little bit of that in the last demonstration then view memory at arbitrary locations four would be overwriting memory once again at arbitrary locations and finally, five is some sort of a code execution happening. So now what we will do for the rest of the video series is pick up each one of these individually and see how we can go ahead and cause these using format string bugs. Now for the sake of demonstration and to keep things very simple at this uh, stage, I will use very simple programs to demonstrate each one of these. However, I leave it as an exercise to you to look into more complicated programs uh, and see how you can exploit them. A very good source uh, would probably be some of the latest format string bugs which have been discovered and are regularly being posted in mailing lists such as bug track. Okay, so now let's move on. So the first thing which you can do with format string bugs is to crash the program. Now, very simply, this can cause a denial of service attack. And, uh, you know, one can only imagine if there is a remote daemon, uh, you know, an FTP daemon such as WUFTPD, uh, which is running and is vulnerable to such a format string vulnerability, then a malicious user could actually shut it down and deny service to others. Another application is that if you're a local user uh, and you manage to go ahead and crash a privileged process and the core gets dumped, then you could use that to inspect and gather more information or for that matter, even confidential data, if at all that uh, daemon or process is holding that in memory. Okay, so now let's get into a live example of how to crash a program uh, using format string bugs. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, just look at our very simple program which we had created. Right, where we have secret and secret 2 and the format string is supplied by the user. Now let's execute this program. So if you remember from the last video, single percentage as gives, this is a secret one. Second gives both secret one and secret two, uh, basically revealing both of the variables. Now, what would happen if we give a third percentage as? Right now, if you notice, nothing really happened right now, right? Let's give a fourth percentage as notice a little bit of garbage was printed let's give another percentage s now if you notice we managed to go ahead and crash the process there happened a segmentation fault and core was dumped right so you know okay fine we've managed to crash the process uh, but the question really arises what actually happened because of which the crash finally occurred. So to understand that, let's go ahead and load this executable into GDB and run it. So let's actually go ahead and place a breakpoint. Let's place it uh, just before printf is going to be called. And now let's run the program with the five percentage S's. Right, 
right so we've hit the breakpoint uh let's go ahead and look at what is there in the stack And let's also print the frame pointer. Okay, so if you notice, uh, you know, if you've been following the previous videos, this is basically the pointer to the two strings, and this is basically the pointer to the format string itself, right? With the five S's. Now, just from the previous video when printf receives this format string what does it try to do it figures out that there are basically five variables on the stack which it needs to pick up and interpret as pointer to strings so of course this is that first variable uh, this is the second variable or the pointer this is the third pointer this is the fourth one and of course this is going to be the fifth one right so basically if you notice this pointer points to something this as well points to something uh, however from here onwards we are not really sure what this points to and even if it does is that really a string or not we are very confident about the first two though right and that is where what might really happen is depending on whether this points to something if it does uh, then is that a string or not if it is a string then what is going to happen is that that will be printed if it is let's say not a string uh, then you might see some garbage values here and there or you know even a crash and then finally there is always a possibility that this could point to an address which does not even exist in the program's current address space in which case you would get a segmentation fault right so Let's actually continue this program and see what really happened. So basically, if you notice, we got a segmentation fault inside the str len function or the string length function. Now, basically what happened? Right. So basically printf, you know, was going ahead looking at all of these uh, format string variables percentage s is one after the other and then picking up these pointers from the stack right and therein what has happened is once it picked up one of the pointers uh, which i suspect was this one right this did not really point to a legitimate string and that is where string length actually failed and actually tried to dereference something which was not really allowed to and we got a segmentation fault right and this is the stack trace from main we were in printf printf in turn called vprintf which in turn called string length so there could be a variety of uh, you know other reasons also depending on exactly what values are there on the stack okay so we can exit gdb now so well that's all for this demo just wanted to prove that how simple it is to actually crash a program using a format string bug. In the next video, we will look at how to systematically uh, go ahead and chalk out the entire program stack by using format string vulnerabilities. Uh, hope you like this video. I would really appreciate if you can leave a comment behind uh, in the leave a comment section below. Also, if you have any follow up questions, please post them in the forums and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.